Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Bas Bato, the Starving Artist. And all you French-speaking people out there, don't crucify me in the comments. That's a hard-ass word, okay? I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyway, this is a game. I think you're broke as fuck. You have no money. All you have is the stuff that you brought with you, and you create artwork, and you can either sell it, or people are going to crucify you and tell you that your artwork is shitty, and you have to try to make money so you can progress and become a better and well-known artist. I'm actually really excited to play this game, so if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up, because here we go. And I had a plan coming into this game. I want to draw all the video game characters from past playthroughs on the channel. So I have all the images that I'm gonna try to paint in this game. I'm taking this seriously, like this isn't something I'm trying to dick around on. I want to make legit artwork and I want to see how good or bad my paintings actually are. So the first one is Midori Gurino and let's see if I can do this. So it's kind of like a light shade of pink, like a, like a bubblegum pink. There you go. And look at my guy right there. He's going all out with the strokes. The hair is Gurinu, of course. So we got one long strand. Holy shit, that's a fat paintbrush. Okay, let me delete that part. Ah, oh, fuck, I deleted everything. She has like long hair on the sides. And then she kind of has like bangs. Oh God, this is some fuck right here. <laughs> Oh man, it's so hard to make artwork on here, but maybe I'm just making excuses and I just have really shaky hands Okay, there she has another long piece of hair over there and then like a little dip Like so Oh, this is not bad. Now. I just have to fill in the hair. What the hell is all this stuff telling me bills inbound? Okay, we just gotta go guys. We just gotta go. I gotta pay my bills. My kids are starving They're gonna start eating each other. So I gotta make sure I get these paintings out quick. All right, so let's get that strand of hair. And what else? Her face is tan. Bills paid, cost minus 80, money left 170. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's see what color's good. I'm gonna go with that. That's a good color. So she has kind of like a pointy chin. <laughs> this is so bad, what the fuck is this? <laughs> okay, let's make the eyes. <laughs> Shit, she looks mad. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck am I doing? This is a mad Midori right here. Oh crap. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, Jay, focus. You're supposed to be taking this seriously. The nose is kind of like that. It's just like a little point. And there you go. That looks like a mad Midori right there. Let me try to give her the bangs again. Okay, there you go. Her eyes are kind of green but the pupils are black. Eggs cause disease according to a preliminary study. I don't give a fuck. All right, and now the uniform has like a blue collar. So let's do this. It's hard to commentate when you're actually making artwork because you're so focused. I mean, I know I'm focused. If you could commentate while drawing something in this game, kudos to you, man, because I'm really focused on trying to shade all this shit in. What the hell even is this? This does not look like a uniform. And we need some red for the ribbon. There you go. Okay, this is actually not that bad. It's not that good, but it's not that bad. And a little bit of black right over here. Nice. And now just the finishing touches. We just need some white and we should be pretty good. This is actually way better than I thought it would be. Like, it's still ass, but at least it's my ass. All right, you know what? It kind of looks bad because it looks like she's mad. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna give Midori a big old smile. Big old healthy smile. There you go. But now she looks like she's plotting and scheming something evil, kind of like Yandere-chan, because her eyes still look mad as fuck. But this is my artwork. It is called the Midori Gurinu. We are going to accept it. And we are going to sell it. That looks actually pretty cool. <laughs> okay, we're gonna call it Midori Gurinu. And BAM! What do you think about that, huh? Come on, get your ass over here. Hold on, I wanna see what he says. I want him to see the masterpiece. Excuse me, Mr. Punk Rock, sir! Take a look at my artwork, there you go. Why are you painting without passion? That was all my passion! I was so happy when I made that artwork! Who the fuck are you, synth? Get out of here with your gross ass mohawk! Okay, you know what? We're just gonna let it sit there and somebody who truly appreciates art will come and buy that. For now, we are gonna move on to our next piece. So let's give it a brown background. And then we gotta make it look like 
it's wood, so we're just gonna separate it. I only have $10 left. Oh shit. I might be fucked soon. It is so hard to draw in this game, guys. And now I need a dark shade of green. So, let's see here. Let's make the body. George said, color's too crazy for me. You know what, George? Get the fuck out of here. Nice. That's not bad. It's not bad. Now I need some gray. Oh, that's not gray. I need gray for the inside. Fuck. Inside the lines is not my thing. That's what my first grade teacher told me, and it still holds true today. The Ezek one is really easy to make. All you have to do is fill in all the colors. And bada bing bada boom should be a masterpiece and so many people are talking shit you're lucky i'm busy i would roast the fuck out of you i'd make you barbecue chicken bitch benjamin said i hate pink well you must hate your wife's because that shit's pink where the fuck did you guys even come from haters anonymous get out of here you trolls holy shit i am into this right now i feel like i'm on drugs i'm like zoning out steve said bad colors i don't care i don't even care anymore you can say whatever the fuck you want. Okay, we got everything painted around the Ezek uniform. All we need to do now is make this a little bit more kind of like, a, I don't know, like an acorn or something? I don't know. Why are you painting without passion? Do you not see me painting right now? This is all the passion that you need. This is all the passion that you can ask for. What is wrong with you? Okay, we got that finished. So all we need to do now is make the Ezek symbol. This is going to be tough because I need to make a perfect square. Okay. Jeez. Come on, Jay. Okay, that's pretty good. Then do that. Then do that. Oh, man, this is bad. Actually, it looks pretty good. This actually looks pretty decent. I'm not even gonna lie. There you go. I made the Ezek from Papers, Please. All right, let's accept that. Put it right here. That is so cool. It looks badass. Okay, let's name this one Glory Terestutsky. And bam! Bill's paid. I have negative $70. No! No! Oh my god! I spent all that time making those two paintings! This better not be game over. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I spent so much time, guys. It has been over 20 minutes on those two paintings. Wow. And now you're just gonna burn it. You might as well kill me. You might as well put a gun to my head and shoot me because you destroyed my life's work. And so it came to pass. Lost and alone. You motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. No money, nor fame. Another forgotten name. Is this bitch trying to rhyme or something? You trying to write poems now? I'm pissed! Because that took me forever and I didn't even get to see if anybody was gonna buy the Ezek painting. That makes me sad. Next up, we are going to make Jimmy Hopkins from the Bully series, one of my other favorite series that I played on this channel. So we're gonna make a green background. I gotta go fast, so quantity over quality, I guess, for this game. So he has like a tannish head? Tannish head, tannish head. He has like a little egg head. So let's see, uh, I guess I'll go with that. And then do this. There you go. Oh my god, this is some fuck right here. Okay, let's fill this in. And now we just gotta give him the hair. That weird ass hairdo. Um, it looks like that. I don't know what kind of hairdo that is. And then he has kind of like a really modelish eyebrow. And then let's get a little bit of black in there. Bam. Like that. <laughs> that does not look like Jimmy Hopkins. Who the fuck even is this guy? Who is this guy? Oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> He has a pig nose, so let's go like that. <laughs> I look like I'm drawing a lizard or something. <laughs> what is this? This is not the Jimmy Hopkins that I know. All right, all right, all right. Come on, no more fucking around, Jay. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, <laughs> Jimmy Hopkins. More like Bimmy Hopkins. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> fuck what the fuck is this shit i am sorry guys hold on hold the phone here all right you know what that's the best i can do so we're gonna accept that 
Gonna put it right here. That is not Jimmy Hopkins. That is his ugly younger stepbrother, Bimmy Hopkins. And blam. There you go. Let's see how that one does. Oh, wait. He's going to it. What's he gonna say? Tres bien! Yeah, baby! How is that better than my Midori and my Isaac from Papers, Please? Bimmy Hopkins has sold for 106 euros. Nice! That makes me feel good inside. All right, let's keep going. Let's try to do Kenny from the season two of Walking Dead because I like it when he has just one eye. So let's go with a black background. There you go. Just scribble that in there. So the head kind of looks like a rectangle almost. So let's go like this. There you go. And bam. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so let's fill this in. It doesn't really matter if I go outside the lines because I'm going to fill it in with this beard. The eye is going to be tricky. We have to make it look almost like uh, an almond. There you go. That's not bad, that's not bad. Uh, that's not bad. Keep in mind, guys, I'm using a mouse, and it is so hard to control. There you go. Like that. Okay, now we got to do the eye patch. So let's go with the white. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Does that work? Kind of works. Kind of works. Doing the best I can, guys. The best I could do. It's the best I could do. So we got to put the gauze from the eye patch right here. Make it look like it's a big eye patch. Now we gotta bloody it up a little bit. I mean, it's not this bloody, but shit. I wish you could blend colors together. Is there any other tools that I have? Ah, fuck it. And his nose kind of looks like a downward arrow. And now we gotta do the beard. This is the most crucial part because the beard defines Kenny. So we gotta do a little bit right here. And we just gotta go all out through the side. I still have $196, so I'm in the clear, guys. I'm not going to get a game over this time. He also has some hair underneath his nose. Kind of connects. Like that. Oh, this is starting to look like Kenny almost. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, boy. Make a little mouth right over here. Yeah, give him a smile because he's so happy he's being drawn by me. How are we going to make this hat? This is a weird hat. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm so bad at drawing hats. So bad at drawing in general. Even the character in this game is giving it very slow and precise strokes. Look at him. <laughs> okay, so now that we're done with the hats, we just got to give him like some long hair in the back. Because Kenny has some iconic long hair. Kind of like that. Yeah, kind of looks like that. Yeah, there you go. Okay, all we got to do now is give him his green jacket. And bada bing, bada boom, we should be good to go. Let me just put a few finishing touches on his beard. And we should be good to go. All right. Accept that. Place it right here. That actually looks pretty cool when it's right here on the stand. Kenny. Um, what the fuck was his last name? Wait, somebody's coming up. Oh, yeah. Ho, ho. Originality. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Breadman. And he's dancing around. He loves it so much. Kenny has sold for 180 euros. That makes my heart happy. That makes my heart so happy. Okay, last one we are going to make is the neighbor from Hello Neighbor. So let's get a gray background over here. And let's get this shit started. Okay, his head is ginormous. Like, he has one of the biggest heads that I've ever seen in my damn life. But it should be easy to make him because he doesn't have that many colors to his face. So his face kind of looks like that. Kind of looks like a big-ass piece of toast. And he has nice eyebrows, too. How come every video game character has eyebrows that are super on fleek? I don't get it. Okay, now we got to make the hair. Has, like, one curl on top. Right here. Curly little poo-poo swirl. That actually looks pretty good. I did a pretty damn good job on that, if I do say so myself. Filling in the color on this artwork is frustratingly hard. Because sometimes it just spazzes out and you have, like, one long mark of something that you didn't mean to do. You just got to be very, very slow with the mouse.
But even then, you might just go over the lines and then you're gonna completely fuck yourself. And that's never a good thing. When you unintentionally fuck yourself, that's never a good sign. Intentionally, sure. But unintentionally fucking yourself? Uh-uh. There you go. Hair done. Now we gotta go for the eyes. He has green eyes with black pupils. So let's do one right here. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. Bam! Now we just gotta put a little bit of the black in there. Make it a little bit bigger. And... Ah, no, that's not good. That's not good. That does not look good. Almost looks like he's cross-eyed. Ah, there you go. That works. That'll do. So he has a pretty simple nose. So I'm just gonna do one kind of like this. And he has a handlebar mustache like hipsters from Seattle. So we just gotta go... Uh, bam and then bring it around and BAM Ah, it's kind of thick, but you know what? Ain't nobody got time for that. He has a mischievous smile almost, kind of like that. Yeah, just like that. There you go! Oh, that looks cool! That looks cool. Oh, no, 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 now it looks sucky again. Oh, God. Oh, there you go, it looks cool again! And now he has a swirl on his chin. Ugh, that works, that works, okay. Now we gotta work on his clothes. So, he has a yellow collar, almost. I'm so bad at the clothes. It looks like he's wearing a gold chain. Breaking news, giraffes revealed to be vicious carnivores in groundbreaking study. I don't care. They can do whatever the fuck they want. Leave the giraffes alone. Okay, and we're done with the Hello Neighbor artwork. This one actually feels like it's my best work. If you looked at it, you could kind of tell it was him, right guys? Right? Anyway, we're gonna accept that. Place it right over here. And Hello Neighbor really feels like a title of some real artwork. So we're going to put Hello Neighbor. Bam. And now we're just going to wait and see what everybody thinks of my piece. Oh, somebody's coming. Somebody's coming. Come on, go to the artwork. Yeah, you know you want it. Boring choice of color. Bitch, look who's talking with your purple head ass. I'm going to check my register. I'm going to see how much money I made. Wine minus 15, baguettes 10, rent 55. Wait, when the fuck did I buy wine and baguettes? I'm a starving artist. I didn't even eat yet. I've been painting this whole time. Wait, somebody's coming. Yes, good. It's good. Not great, not bad, but good. All right, guys, but I'm going to end this episode of Paspatal here. I sold three out of five artworks that I made. This game is actually way more fun than I thought. So if you guys want me to make another episode as soon as possible, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too.